Hey, little child, do you like GFX designing? Yes, but I'm too broke. Well, I know how to fix you. All you have to do is follow this tutorial on how to make a free YouTube logo for free. You hear me? For free. For free? You must be tripping or something. Because every time I try and look up a YouTube video, they too hard. Well, the special thing about this YouTube video is because it's not hard at all and it's really easy to follow. Really, I will give it a watch. What is the YouTube channel? It is the YouTuber GFX Phantom. And you should subscribe right now. I just subscribed. That's why there was a blank, because I had to subscribe, and you should too. So, I will make a YouTube video explaining on how to make it too. But that's copying. Yeah, well, he copies from the Crown OG. Yeah, well, they're friends. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Okay, back to art. Uh, fuck, starting video. Like a wise man once said, you can actually make good GFX without Photoshop. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a YouTube logo completely free on photop.com. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to open Photop, change your width and your height to 500 by 500. You can name it. So, I'm just going to name it Test, and then you can hit Create. So now, you're going to want to find a background. So, I'm just going to use this radial backgrounds. So, it really doesn't matter if it, if what color, or not, not what color, but it doesn't matter if it's got, a, like, um, a, what's, what are these things, a watermark on it. So, basically, you can get any of them so if we want to do a yellow one what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit copy image on it and then and then hit control V and photo P now after that if it doesn't fit the entire box or if you want it to get shrunk to fit the entire box say if it's like really big you can hit alt and then your scroll wheel to scroll out so in case it's like this when you paste it in you might not you'd see it's pixelated and you can see that it scrolled out so basically you're gonna hit alt and then do and then use your scroll wheel until you can see the entire thing and from here you're gonna hit shift and then bring it down to where it fits the screen so after you do that what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to filter blur and then Gaussian blur and then you can put it to whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it here so now, you're going to want to hit the little text button right here. And then you're either going to type your name, or what I'm going to do, and what you most likely should do too, is add in just one letter. Or if your name is two letters, what you need to do is you need to put two of these. So if I put that, we're going to have two of these. So we're going to be able to make something cool with them. So what you're going to do from there, you're going to want to get yourself a font. So Photop has some good fonts that are already pre-installed, but I would recommend to go to defont.com if you want to find a certain font or something that you think you like. So in this case, we can go for just something that would look good with two. So it so maybe something either cartoonish or like cartoonish or let's see what else like comic style like this one this one's good for C and Q but we're just gonna just find one that you like and for this one I'll just use this so if you like this this font will be in the description so what you're gonna do from there uh oh oh no oh it's back okay we're good 
But it's going to go from there and you're going to drag this zip file into here. So after that, what you're going to do is you're just going to type in the name of it. So you know it's there. What you're going to do from there is you're going to click on the text right here. And then you're going to click, if you already how I am, you're just going to click on it. So you can go ahead and highlight it. And then change it to the font that you that you picked out and then from here I'm just going to show you how to do it with one letter so now what you're going to do is you're going to hit go to edit free transform get, drag on this side hold down shift and drag it out so where it fits about here and if it fits about there it should get it all in the shot so now what you're going to do is you're going to go over here, right click, blending options, and then when you're going to go to outer low, and then color overlay. So we're going to do color overlay first. So in the color overlay, what you're going to do is you're going to change the color of the text. So if you want to keep it black, just keep it black. But if you want to change the color to white, yellow, red, green, but for this, we're just going to keep it black. Now for the outer glow, you're going to change this from screen to normal. Change this from this yellow color to whatever color you like. So I'll use yellow for this. You're going to change the spread to 6 and the size to 25. So it has this nice little glow. And if you want, you can try and get it to match your background. So that's, that's what I'm going to put it as. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to go back to edit, go back to tra free, tra free transform. You're going to curve it just a little bit or how much you like it. And then after you do that, I'm just going to change this to white. Yeah, that looks better. So after you do that, you're almost done. You're going to go down here to the shapes, add this one, hold down shift, and then drag out. So what we're going to do from here is you're going to change the fill up here to that and you're going to change this to red or to the red one and then you're going to change the color to white, black, whatever. Keep mine on white. So now you're going to go back to free transform, go to edit and then free transform. And you're going to you don't have to hold down shift for this one. Only just don't use these. So what you're going to do is you're just going to get it to where it'll fit about, just about like this, to where it'll fit around. But if you don't want to do that, and you want this part too, you can do that also. So the way we're going to make this match is actually we're just going to completely go back, free transform it again and hold shift and then bring it to here so now what you're going to do from here is you're going to bring it all the way to the edges so now you can go to fill fill it back do like this and then uh, change this to white change the outer glow just in case it might show up and then what you're going to do from here is you're going to turn the opacity down on here to 50 or whatever means necessary just so you can still see the text so I'm going to put it on 60 and uh, what you can do from here is you're going to want to change the outer glow color to black and then on the text you can add a drop shadow um, and that's basically it for the one set, like the one letter. But now we're going to move to the second letters. So if you have two letters in your name, you want to put both in. That's what you're going to stay here. But you don't have to watch anymore if you only want one letter. So now if you want two letters, you're going to add your second letter and then edit it. Go to edit. Oops. 
and now you can either put it inside of your of your letter of the first letter if it's got like if it's like a Q or an O you can put it inside of it excuse me and then change the color overlay and outer glow it but I think that's ugly so what I would do in this case is grab this turn it this way and then have it overlay the the first letter so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that then if you change the outer glow you're gonna go back over here and then you're gonna click back on this and then copy this and then paste it back into the outer glow in here so that's basically all you're gonna do in here for the two letter one so let's just corn queso that's all you're gonna do or you can just have queso corn queso corn with no queso but that's basically all you're gonna have to do to make the simple but good looking YouTube logo so if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye hello everybody I'm currently stuck in a cave um, so don't mind the echo but if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time okay so while I was editing this video I realized that I never said how to save it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, Export As, and then PNG. So that's about it. That's all you have to do. So just make sure you don't export, or not export, but make sure you do not hit Save or whatever else is on here. So just make or hit that. Do not hit that just export the image like this with a PNG or JPEG don't use anything else especially WebM or any of this just use PNG okay